Welcome to Train Valley 2 Redux, or Train Valley 2 Revisited if you prefer me to say it that way. I reset my progress and went through all the original 20 scenarios that came with Train Valley 2 and saw all the changes that had been made to some of them. And now I have reached the new 10 scenarios, currently 23 T-Rex. As you may notice, if you saw the last episodes, I've been back and got five stars on the pipeline in Florida. And I've actually seen T-Rex before because I tried to record it and the game had a sound problem. It went horribly crackly for no apparently good reason. So, at least I know what I'm facing with T-Rex. Which is a big dinosaur in the middle. So what I figured out last time is okay i can connect this down down to there to get oil i can put a bridge across here which i will do pretty much immediately and then send people down there to collect sand i need to put a tunnel through here to get the sand up to collect glass and get people in there but that's expensive because if i look at that doing that i've only got one place that i can put a tunnel forty-two thousand, which would take every bit of cash i've currently got I can, in theory, put a bridge across here, but I can just run track across there. This one needs something called polymers, which are new to me, which require oil and electricity. This one's making jewellery, which requires windows and or glass and gold ingots. The problem with getting gold ingots is, I, to get them over there, I need to put a bridge across here, but that will also cost me a fair chunk of money. So, what I'm going to do to start with is move some track down here, a la so. Move some track down here, I'm just going to go straight, a la so, then connect that that way and that that way. And that's actually what I'm going to do for now. I'm I'm not going to connect. Oh, I need to connect that bit there. That would help. And start trains off. Send that one down there because it will get me the fastest return. Or get there slightly quicker. Maybe. It's kind of six or one half a dozen the other, to be honest. Oh, I forgot. Uh, so I am allowed to create a hundred track tiles and not crash any trains and I think I've got 13 and a half minutes and that's pretty much all I've got so I very much doubt I'm going to get anywhere close to this on time just because now if I want to put a bridge across there it's going to cost me 22,000 I'm going to do that mainly because it'll be useful at some point in the not too distant future. Okay, I've got a little bit of money and you're starting to get some more people, so send some more people that way. While I figure out how to get this track around here. I mean, that's, that's as close as I'm gonna get for the moment until I get some more people earning me some more money. Okay. That gets that to there. I've only got a thousand. I need a little bit more cash and I can take this one and start shipping people into here to go get me some gold ingots. I really think I'm going to struggle on time. I'm probably going to struggle on the whole um, only use a hundred bits of track. Go that way. Alright, now I can start shipping people out of there. Oh, I hit the pause button. Didn't intend to hit the pause button, but I did anyway. Alright, ship some more people down there and a load of people into here. I 
like the way the, the, the whole crane arm moves for this one. It's a nice little touch. Excuse me, my voice almost went there. Ship some more workers out there. Starting to get some money together. Not enough, admittedly, but kind of everything in life. That should give me a bit more cash, probably enough for what I need. Now, like I, said, I could put a bridge across here, but I'm going to just use track. So I can start shipping people out of there, ship some more people out of here. At some point, I'm going to need to go that way. some more people that way <coughs> again I don't have everything I need right now but I can also do that I'll give me a little more cash as well and we can ship one more set of workers down there and that'll fill that place up ah I sent you the wrong way never mind Probably suffice. Okay. How much cash will I have? About 21,000 when that's all said and done. But equally importantly, I can now ship some people out of there, ship some gold nuggets out of there, which will help earn me a bit more cash. of gold nuggets which will help pay for things. Now, equally, I need to get oil up to there and the only way I currently got to do this is that. more cash okay I don't have enough yet I thought I might have enough cash to put the tunnel in here but not yet bit of a disappointment well we'll send some more workers down to the oil factory while we're waiting to get some more cash enough. Good. Now I can stick my tunnel through there. Connect that that way and then this way. two will miss each other. It's going to be tight, but you're going to miss each other. Good. That'll start producing panes of glass. Uh, let's send some more up there so we've got plenty. That should work and that should be good enough to go there. Right. While I'm here, I'm going to ship some more oil out. And I'm going to ship some more workers out of there because I can, and I need to send that down there. No, I didn't. Or maybe I did, I can't remember. No, I didn't actually mean to do that, but never mind. That was fine going the direction it was meant to go in. 
Okay. Right, now I've got some panes of glass going. And how much have I got? By the way, of cash. Okay. Ship another one of those, another one of those. Right. Time to stop and think. Now I can get a bridge across there, but it's going to cost me 59,000, which I don't currently have. But that's how I'm going to need to connect up the electricity, is to get a bridge across to there. I can also get a bridge across to there, which will give me a shortcut of ways of... theoretically, of taking things over there. But most importantly, right now, once these people have got to wherever they're going, I need to get panes of glass on the move. So without panes of glass, I am up that creek without that paddle. Send some more workers down that way. What the heck, send some more workers out here. They won't kill me. Right. Now I need to send panes of glass out of here. And it's going to be a long trek. These panes of glass. I need to put a connection in there. Flip that. You're going to come out of there, down there, up there, over there. Now I need to set you to go straight. So I might as well send another set across. Okay, so that will get me allow me to create some of the jewelry I need. It's all well and wonderful and everything. Then I'm going to create all the gold I'm ever going to need. But I don't have enough. Well, now I possibly might have enough to build that bridge I was talking about earlier. The one that goes from there to there. allow me to get people up to there but the problem with the electricity is as soon as you turn it on it starts working which at the moment would not be a problem because I could actually do with it working but so I might as well get it working to create some more polymers while I've got the chance go down there right go that way around these guys are creating jewellery, which is good. I was run out of track that I can create, because I could create a bridge across there, but to do this would probably exceed the track limits that I want, slash need. Send some more workers that way. You send some more oil that way, because you're going to need more oil up in that general direction when I get the electricity turned on with these other guys. Okay, we're doing well for creating jewellery. And how many polymers I'm going to create at this point. I might have to stop this train before it becomes... gets too close. There we go, maybe not. Just go. Right, you've created all the jewellery I want from you for the moment. The problem is, of course, you I can either drop you off there or I can send you a real long distance. And I'm thinking sending you a real long distance would probably be a good idea down there and then back there. You should get to where I want you to go. There, create me some more polymers, whatever it is you create, if you possibly can. 
Well, I've still got electricity going. You go that way, followed by the train that's going to follow you. Go, go that way. Oh, I can't. I don't have another train. Right, I'll buy another train. Train to spare, not right now. You're going to go all the way down to there. Good. I've now got ten polymers as well. More importantly, I need to get some sand up there. Once you're past there, I need to get some people going that direction. Like I said, I could ignore the track thing and put a bridge across there, which would be faster, but that would fail me on the amount of track I'm using. So I've decided not to do that right now. Doesn't mean I won't decide to not to do that shortly. Um, okay, how many polymers do I need? I'm going to need another five polymers. I've only got enough oil up there for four. Well, I might have to wait a second. Because these polymers need to come out of here. And into there. that way and that way. Follow this one around. That's fine. I need a train coming out of here. Yeah, I've definitely failed for the first bit of time. Yeah, you could do or make it. You're going to go around there and get me some more electricity. Lots of electricity. And you're going to go there and get me a load more jewellery. And that should create everything I need. Now, can I get them back within the 17 minute time limit? Is one of the questions. Not the only question, but it's one of the questions. going back here, down here, round here, down there, and that way. Right, fine. You're going to get to where I want you to go. You're going to go in there. That's a you. That's a you. all the jewellery apart from that train which is still working on it back and that should be the last polymer I need Struth they didn't make that one easy I will accept four stars quite happily on that one to be bluntly honest That was T-Rex. 
No one ever told you told me it was going to be easy, and if they had done, they'd have been lying to me. That was hard work. I might have to figure out a different way of doing that if I want to get anywhere close to the the time limit, because I think it was about two minutes over. However, that's something for me to figure out in my own time. That was Scenario 23. Next time around, it will be Siberia. As always, I hope you enjoyed or found it interesting or you looked at it and pointed and went, oh, what an idiot, I can't believe he did it that way. Whatever makes you feel happy. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for more episodes of Train Valley 2 Redux. Cheerio!